Hey guys, how's it going? It's your favorite train wreck here, Annie Nova. Today's video has been super, super requested and I thought that since I have a tendency of not really sugarcoating things for you guys and I like to kind of tackle things more realistically, I don't want people to come into this with certain expectations and in fact, what actually led me to want to make this video is I was talking to one of my friends about one of our other mutual acquaintances who was going through something exactly what I'll be talking about in this video where they had this idea in their mind and now they're finding out oh okay it's not all that it's wrapped up to be. So I would say there are three categories when it comes to foreigners in entertainment in Korea. Category number one is influencer. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Category number two is what I would call the experienced model, meaning they're not just starting out, meaning they're not a newbie. They might be new to the Korean market, but they've been modeling back home in their own country. When it's this, you basically have something called a mother agency. So that's the agency that first ever signed you. That agency back home is like your rock. If, you, if anything is wrong with your Korean agency, you go to your mother agency. Your mother agency, you they won't just send you to some random modeling agency that DM'd you on Instagram, you know? They have connections over in different countries, including Korea, meaning that they also have a good relationship with that Korean company. Basically, that Korean company that the experienced international model goes to has been vetted, they've sent different models to them, they know, you know, what's up. Category number three is the foreigner who signed with an entertainment agency who has never worked in entertainment before but wants to have a go at it. This is the trap that a lot of people end up falling into because as a foreigner, you do tend to get these messages from agencies being like, hey, we're looking for foreign models, do you want to sign with us, blah blah blah. It's up to you when this happens for you to do your research and for you to really make sure that it's legit because a lot of people try and scam foreigners into thinking that they're gonna get signed. So when it comes to earning money, I actually spoke to one of my friends who I would define as like an international model and she routinely travels to Korea a couple of months at a time to do jobs. So she has her mother agency back home. They hook her up with an agency that they trust in Korea. She told me how like, for example, her mother agency makes sure that the Korean agency doesn't force them to lose weight, doesn't make comments about their model's weight. So you get that extra protection, you know, when you have your home agency looking out for you. With that as well, you actually get a different contract in comparison to category number three, where you're just a random Foreigner. Usually with international models, which are, it's gonna sound mean, but seen as more professional and more lucrative in terms of how much money they can make, those models actually sign a contract which states the minimum amount that they have to make. Otherwise they get sent home. So if you think about it, when a international model or like a foreign model in general has that type of contract, that means it's within the agency's best interest to push that model onto jobs because they have a goal to fill. Otherwise they're at a loss, they're gonna lose out on money. So those models tend to be preferred, they tend to be pushed and they tend to be focused on. But the foreigner, they've never modeled before, they just have a standard contract, usually get neglected. Unless you have insane luck, you probably will be like at the bottom tier of when it comes to getting jobs. They're not contractually obligated to find you jobs basically. So I have seen friends who have signed with uh, modeling agencies and like they would get zero jobs, nothing. The agency would do nothing for them, but they had their like favorite model or whatever who was making like, I don't know, 10K per month from jobs because they were pushing them so, so much. So that's something to definitely consider because when, if you get yourself into that kind of situation, it, it's gonna be horrible. Now, if you are an influencer, it's a lot easier because you know, you have brands reaching out to you. I'm mainly focusing on like the general entertainment route because I understand that not everyone is gonna walk around with like thousands of subscribers or followers straight off the bat. Big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. 
as you can probably imagine, working in this kind of industry can be really taxing on your mental health. And as I've told you guys before in the past, I was intending on going to therapy and really figuring out my issues with depression and anxiety. I had been using BetterHelp to achieve that and when they actually reached out to do a collaboration, I was like, that's like perfect, you know? If like me, you feel depressed, anxious, stressed, overwhelmed, all of the above, BetterHelp is really here to help you. They cover a variety of different, I guess, issues you could say. I realized that what I lacked in the past was someone to truly talk to and who better to be able to talk to than a professional licensed therapist. You get to do the sessions in private, in your home, online, where you feel the most comfortable. So something that I learned in my sessions with my therapist, Leah, I am very critical of myself. After the first couple of sessions, I've really learned to not compare myself to my counterparts, look at my own journey just because my journey takes me somewhere or takes me somewhere at a slower pace does not mean that I am not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. When you sign up with them, you get access to over 20,000 licensed therapists who are trained to listen to you and hopefully help. So when I signed up with them, I did a questionnaire listing like what my issues were and within 48 hours, you get matched to a therapist. So once you get matched, you can either do a phone session or a video session and you also get to message them, which is like an unlimited service that they do. So it's like all super confidential, of course. Also, you can literally change your therapist at any given time for completely free. So if you're interested in joining over 2 million people who are using BetterHelp right now, then sign up in the link down below. And if you use my link, you get 10% off of your first month. Again, thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Like I said, link and information is down below in the description. So one story, again, not my story. I have a friend who I was talking to and they basically told me they've been signed to that agency for one year. They have made a thousand dollars from the jobs that the agency got them. In one year, they only earned a thousand dollars. She was basically at the mercy of her agency because she was mismanaged. And I think the story that really pushed me to make this video was I was talking to one of my friends and we, we have a mutual friend um, and we were talking about how worried we were for that person because they had just transitioned from being an English teacher to a entertainment person and that acquaintance had no savings they were accepting really really low paying jobs like shoots for a whole day for 40,000 won which is about 30 pounds like $40 considering how much people usually make in the industry that's like an insanely low amount but that's the thing also when you sign as a new model a fresh face or whatever you want to call it in category three where you have no experience no mother agency you will be given the bottom tier jobs meaning the lowest paid jobs and i feel like you know if if this is your passion if this is really something you want to do and if you don't mind being on edge all the time as to where you're gonna get money, if you have savings even, by all means, go for it, try your luck. Things never really get talked about from the other side where you aren't the favorite model, you aren't getting jobs all the time. And I think it's a good idea to talk about this. So in case you may be watching are thinking of, you know, starting modeling in Korea, please, please be aware if you can get some experience in your home country and then maybe sign with an agency that has ties in Korea and then you have that safety net and you have the contract in front of you saying this person needs to make minimum this amount. So when I talked to my model friend, she literally, guys, she, I was looking on on the Hollister website the other day and I was scrolling and I, I saw her. If you're ever in Seoul, you will most likely see her on one of the billboards. She's been in Sephora. Um, like she's legit. She also mentioned that you very much are at the mercy, even as like an international model, as someone experienced, you are kind of at the mercy of how good your agency's agent is because they are the ones who 
get the get the job offer it's up to them to either haggle and be like no 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 we we want way more than this or saying nah like it's okay like that's not enough budget or whatever so it's super super important to pick an agency that actually wants you that actually wants you to have jobs rather than just have you randomly on on the books for like a job once every two months one story that i remember where i was just like this is so obviously not legit was when another friend of mine had been offered a contract with um, a certain agency and the meetings were conducted by the CEO himself. Already red flag because why is the CEO of an agency meeting with some random foreigner? So she was taking meetings with the CEO, he was asking her to dinner, come on you know what's going on but she would go along with it. He then started taking her to all these like high-end stores. He bought her a Chanel bag. He bought her clothes from Gucci. But as you can probably imagine, he was, twi he was twice her age. So he was trying to have like this power dynamic. You know, he buys her nice things and he's willing to give her a modeling contract. And at the same time, he was also telling her like, yeah, we have ties to this company and this company and we'll put you on this show and that show and whatever so luckily in the end when he finally like properly made his intentions clear that he essentially was looking for less than wholesome things she was like oh uh no i'm not interested obviously after she said that like that she wasn't personally interested in him he didn't end up signing her so i hope this video wasn't too harsh i hope it was more of like a video to make you really think about if you are thinking of signing with an agency coming to Korea as an entertainment it isn't all sunshine and butterflies you will sometimes maybe feel like you aren't gonna make a rent especially if you come here as a unknown model please do your research please come with some money saved up thank you for watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can DM me any questions this is where I got this video idea from and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video